only good rider. For gold medalists in Moto X Freestyle, Taka Higashino! I think I, I'm very lucky to have like a husband that is happy doing what, what he loves. That's the ultimate dream. My dad want to play with me, like a football or a baseball, you know, but he didn't do any sports, he liked motorcycle. So one day he asked me, hey Taka, you want to ride with me motorcycle? But for me, like, a, it's real motorcycle, you know, I didn't know it's real. So I said, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, I want to ride. Then start ride with him every weekend. For me, Back in the day, like a pretty far because my dad is a fireman, so I don't see much him, you know. Then since we start the dirt bike, like I get more connection with my dad, so like a more kind of best friend, you know. So every weekend we talking about dirt bike, then go ride, then I can wait every Sunday, go ride with dad. Beginning was no freestyle motocross, in the, you know this. Only like uh, American motocross, you know, supercross. First time I, I remember, first time I watching Crusty Demons, like uh, something different feeling. After watch, I go back to my friend house, then watching BMX and making jump, then try to look like a Crusty Demon. <laughs> I'm back to motorcycle, motocross motocross track. So that day, my like hometown, Osaka, motocross track, they set up freestyle ramp. I go check because I never see before, you know, I w I've been watching on TV, like Brian Deegan or XDM, you know. I turn around, like 20 people was there, then waiting, like I gonna hit, you know. So, oh my God, everybody waiting. I'm gonna hit? All right, all right, I gonna try. Then so I just hit, then first jump was all the way flat. But luckily, nothing injury. So second jump, I adjust. Then third jump, I start doing can can or heel click up. Then coming back to dad, hey dad, can I cut fender? And soon as my dad say yes, I grab yeah laser blade then cut. Then make a grab hold. Then yeah, next time I go practice, I just start doing seat grab, watching, watching like, all day. Like takes two months, like every weekend. Yeah, riding then. Nobody filming me, so I watching my shade, shadow, you know, for right before dark, I watching oh, where I am now, you know. So it's so fun. So I started doing freestyle motocross professional, then I get a little sponsor money. So this sponsor just gone. One day just gone. I'm like a 20 years old at that time, then zero money, then I want to make the XTM, but impossible if this situation. I met my dad bike friend, but old friend. He say like he's doing company, then I'm doing sponsorship with another trial, like an athlete. So if you want to talk to, like come to my office, then I went the next day telling about my dream. Then he told me everything. He offered me like a $2,000 in a month, but three months deal. Because the Japanese person only I can visit in America only three months. If you wanna grab this two thousand dollars, you can go. But if you got steady or if you worry, like uh, you can stay in Japan too. Like uh, you have a two way now, so you can go right or left. But promise me, if you wanna go America, you have to stop all Japan connection. All. But I didn't know nobody in US, you know. So he say, if you wanna try, you have to do everything like hundred percent. So I just start selling my bike, selling car, then stop insurance, even like a phone bill, like a finish. So I have one connection with San Diego friend. Yeah, I ask for San Diego house for 500 in a month for one room. Then I find a friend of a friend have a car pickup truck for 800 bucks. Then I moved to US 2007. My dream is riding XTM. I don't care what place I get, I want to get in that XTM, you know? 
so I have a budget $2,000 a month, you know. So day one, I drive all the way near here, like a Temekira Murieta area. Then that time, like a nothing iPhone, you know, just a prepaid phone. I try to search in every single street, but I spend so much gas money. So day two, I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna spend too much money for gas. So I just, my friend had a laptop, so I just, yeah, he told me, you should check with Google. Yeah, it looks like a, this is a jump, like a setup. Then it was like Mike Metzger's Paradise Ranch, you know, from up, <laughs> you know? It looks like a foam pit here. Then I just memo then how to direction, you know? So as soon as I knock in door, like somebody show up, then what's up? Then I say, I, I have a dictionary, so... Hey, I'm looking for Mike Metzger. He show up, what's up? I say, hey Metzger, I wanna ride. Can I ride? Then he said, yeah. So I did it backflip in front of him. Then as soon as I did it backflip, he was, yeah, go back garage. Then he gear up, then he ride with me. First time I met Twitch was 2005. He told me, you ride in the sick, so give me your phone number. Then I saw, I don't really want to meet sick, you know? <laughs> so I go back to San Diego house, my, I ask my roommate, what do you mean sick? <laughs> then, ah, that's me, good, good. Then, ah, no way. Okay, sweet. Then. And I, from the get-go, I looked at talk. I'm like, this kid has a bunch of potential. I'm like, if someone helped this dude, like, he could be like one of the best in the world. And I'm like, hey, I'm like, when you come back, I'm like, hit me up, you know? And I was just, I'm like, I'll talk to my wife, see if you can come stay with us. This dude has more motivation and determination than anyone I'm riding with right now. I go, it's gonna make me ride more. So I let Taka live with me and he ended up moving in with me and lived with me for like four years. Then he said, like, I give you all my connection. Then you wanna ride with me like a teammate? You wanna do the same sponsor then ride a two tour? Really? Then, yes, of course, but no way. Like I still can't believe, you know? Then, yeah, he gave me chance. Then he gave me like an energy drink sponsor, then eight knees and Mera Marisha. Then do to that too. So back when I was in France, uh, in the summer of 2010, I met Taka. Her cousin's best friend was a photographer, freestyle motocross. He always shoot in France show with me. Then that time I met her, then hi, oh beautiful. And just, you know, just hi, how's it going? Then we started talking. With emojis. <laughs> we communicate with emojis. <laughs> I think we are creating our own language. So there is a little bit of English, some word of Japanese, a lot of French. <laughs> there is nothing more different than a French girl and a Japanese man. Nothing more different in the world. <laughs> to be the same is boring. We fight a lot, but it's for the good, you know? So we under understand each other way better. Help grow and I feel her heart, you know? She have a nice heart and she feel like a she loved me like a deep inside, so that's how I feel. Good way she kicked my ass. She's always pushing, I'm like, hey, like, if you're gonna go, go win, go be the best. Like, don't come back all half-assed with a third place trophy, like, come back with a first place trophy. And sometimes you need that. I got XTM invite, yeah, August, you know, so only seven months later, like, a dream come true. But I'm thinking like a Japanese guy doing freestyle motocross and gold medal, impossible, but never know, you know, so I have to try 100%. As soon as I made the XTM stadium, then I was so scared, like, oh my God, I still have like a 120 ramp. This is a guy who's going to lay it down. He's not going to hold back any punches. There is a 115 foot ramp in here, which we've seen. This guy, I believe, is going to go upside down on it. So I just think in my mind is scary, just a fear. So just don't be a pussy, you know? So I just send it. As soon as I pull in my foot, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I made it. Then watching landing. It was black. I remember like that, that landing was front of my face. Then as soon as I hit, like a old black. Don't want to repeat tricks. Absolutely is a different trick. Oh, and he's down. I remember the first year he got an X game. He came out, second run, indie flip, came up short, broke his collarbone, got knocked out. 
if you're scared, don't ride. Like that's the kind of stuff that you you can't be thinking about when you're riding. Like that's the stuff you put behind you. If you're thinking about that stuff when you're riding, you're, you're gonna end up getting hurt. So at the end of the day, if you love something enough, you'll put that behind you and just do it. And Taka did it. 2010 X Games. I want to focus that year on the best trick. Welcome inside Staples Center. It is X Games 16 and we have... Yeah, I was nervous. Yeah, I did it. Second jump. Here we go, Taka. Many people claiming this is his breakout year. Double grab in the call yeah. I did it perfectly. Double grab in the flip. I got luckily finish bronze. So finally, first medal, you know? So this is a crazy dream. After double grab backflip, maybe I can let hands go away. You know, like I can let bike go. I start doing foam pit, little by little. Then I, I can do like a little lock solid. No way, there's no way you can let go of your bike upside down with nothing on it and it's gonna work. <laughs> you let your arms go uh, and after you just have to catch the back bike and just like land. It didn't make sense, huh? <laughs> and you would see him just going. Came back, showed us the video, I was like, look, I do rock solid foot, but like, no way. Then Twitch always said after he told me like I feel you all the time like 2012 but see you here. And yeah, then competition start. I do fast jump for rock straight fast flip. Just watch this when he hits the big ramp. Unbelievable! <laughs> and he comes right out of the gate with a trick that huge! You just saw the rock solid backflip. It's a double grab, let go, back to double. Because I can't believe, I remember as soon as I see result, I run to landing, top of landing, I throw Gogu, or I just, you know. For gold medals in Moto X Freestyle, Taka Higa Shida! Then I supposed to propose to Sorin, you know? Then I missed a the chance, then day two. Then that time make me second place. Then finish the interview. Then that time I proposed to her, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I proposed to Sorin, dream come true. Then I have a beautiful wife. Then everything life changed. Then yeah, it's crazy. I definitely, when I look back at riding freestyle and look at like some of the baddest dudes in the world, Taka's right there on the top for sure. He went out, how many dudes you know that can get three gold medals three years in a row? Now the dude's winning events. And, and it's not like he's just only won a few events, like he's won a lot of events. Like he puts in the work and he deserves it. This sport changed my life, like uh, everything. If without a freestyle motocross, I don't have a hope for my life. <laughs> I want to ride it till 50, you know, so that's my next goal. 